Already then. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and I am here today. What you're looking at right now happens to be the second sketchbook I have ever owned in my entire life. It was given to me on my 13th birthday, and a lot of you always ask me, uh, Priscilla, when did you start drawing? Well, okay, every kid draws in their life, so I didn't start taking drawing seriously until I was 13 years old. So this was the second, this was the sketchbook that I got on my birthday. I had another one, but I have no idea where it is, but this is my seventh grade sketchbook. And it's funny because I just love the fact that I can look back and I know exactly what it's from. Because of Legolas, I was obsessed and completely in love with Legolas. I still am. And you'll recognize a couple of Neopets. You guys probably have absolutely no idea what those are. And you'll kind of see a couple of Cartoon Network characters and everything. And then some original characters I came up with just because I was bored and doodling. But yeah. Yes, this is when I officially took drawing seriously because I received the sketchbook and I thought, hmm, well, I guess I should, I have a fancy sketchbook. Maybe I should start documenting things and nothing, most of these doodles in my sketchbook make absolutely no sense. So I thought it'd be fun. I know I've done this challenge before, but it was a bit different, but I'm actually going to follow with the rules this time. So I went to the sketchbook to find some original art that I could recreate today using my present art skills that I have now. So I went ahead and I picked this one, this fairy sitting on a, a flower. <laughs> it's not that horrible. It's it's kind of good. I mean, look at look at those toes and stuff. The anatomy is not that bad of this girl. <laughs> but hey, at least I tried to draw hands and feet. And I also want to incorporate this fuzzy butterfly dog because I know it's my dog. Now, it's I know it's not Jazzy, but it's probably my other dog, Maggie, who we had first. So let's go ahead and redraw that piece. So my main strength in when I started off when I was 13 years old was um, markers. <laughs> markers as in Crayola markers. As you could have seen, there was a couple of Crayola markers and colored pencil doodles in my um, sketchbook. So I thought, well, colored pencils and markers were my comfort zone back in the seventh grade. So I'm going to go and jump to my other comfort zone now, which is watercolor. So I wanted to make this watercolor image of this fairy with her dog. And um, it's just interesting because now I look at the fairy and I'm, I'm trying to think of like a backstory for her and for her little butterfly dog. Now, funny story about the butterfly dog. Um, there was always this, it was actually the Hallmark store that was near our house and we always used to go in there and the butterfly dog was a stuffed animal. So I remember going into the Hallmark store about five times in a row one week and I'm not exactly sure why we went in there but I just remember going in there and I remember seeing the stuffed dog that was a little white dog because I have a miniature white snouser and it looked like my Maggie so I, I kept asking for the dog kept asking kept asking and it wasn't until my birthday the same time that I got this sketchbook that I received the dog for a birthday present so I still to this day have that little stuffed animal but it um it kind of looks like Maggie it kind of doesn't I don't know where I got the notion that it looks like my dog because Maggie looks absolutely nothing like that and I just think it's funny because I grew up with another I got another white snouser so we have two white snousers now and it's just like this dog's never gonna go out of style except one thing I wish my dogs had butterfly wings <laughs> So another huge thing I wanted to talk about in this video, I wanted to talk to you guys about keeping a sketchbook. It doesn't matter what age you are, you should always get a sketchbook. Um, and I really do suggest getting a nice, strong, like black book bounded sketchbook. And you're gonna be like, why would I go out and go to Hobby Lobby and buy a book, a hardbound sketchbook for, I don't know, 30, uh, if you're if you have the 40% coupon it's about $25 why would I do that because 
as you grow older, you collect all these sketchbooks. Now, if you guys remember on my old vloggity vlog vlog channel, I was showing my sketchbooks every week as a sketchbook Friday thing. But the thing is, I have all of them. I have every single sketchbook I have ever made in my life. The only one I'm struggling to find is my very first sketchbook, which was actually a paper bound sketchbook and I can't find it, but it doesn't matter if it's like a black bounded book. The only reason I suggest a black bounded like hardcover book or a spiral hardcover black sketchbook, the only reason I, I, I stuck to those is because um, I didn't want people to see sketchbook on the front of the cover because <laughs> if people see you carrying around a sketchbook, then they go, oh my gosh, is that your sketchbook? Can I see that? Oh my gee, can you draw me? And I'm just like, oh my gosh, what have I got myself into? But that's the reason why I always carried around my black notebooks because some have stickers on them, some don't, but they have no labels on them that say sketchbook. But it's nice. Don't ever throw away your art. Don't ever throw away your sketchbooks. Don't ever throw away any drawings that you make because if you throw away your art, you're going to regret it in the future because, okay, what happens if you have children in the future and you're like, I used to do art in school or your kids or your family members are always like, I used to be an artist and you could always go back and say, well, me too. I used to be an artist too. And plus, it's just really nice to look at your sketchbooks and see the progress you have made. Look at you, you look at these sketches and you're just like, oh my gosh, they're so horrible. But at the time, they were amazing to you and your friends all around you. Even if you're 13 or 12 or 11, those sketches, they are the bomb. They are your work of art. And as you grow up, you look at those and you think, oh my gosh, these are horrible. I'm going to throw them away. Don't do that because it's just an encouragement to let you know how far you've come along. So that's why I think everybody should have a sketchbook and keep them. Don't throw away your art. It's not horrible. If anything, it's going to encourage you to show you how far you have come along as an artist. So I, yeah, that's my whole spiel on sketchbooks because I see people draw in line notebooks too. And I'm like, uh-uh, no, 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 no. Go get a sketchbook because line notebook paper, it's not the fact that the lines bother me. It's the fact that it smudges so easily and it's such a soft paper and if you throw it around or it travels around in your book bag it will smudge your drawings but that is the whole spiel that I have on sketchbooks and I have finished this doodle this revamping of this fairy and a sitting on a flower that actually has the appropriate amount of flower <laughs> uh, petals and with my little Maggie May and she's all uh, butterflied up again, except the butterfly wings. I colored myself. They're not red, they're white. But yes, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you were encouraged to buy your sketchbooks and why you should get one. And if you're, and if your birthday's coming up soon or I don't know, just if you need your parents to go and buy you a sketchbook, play them this video so they know why you need a sketchbook. But yes, guys, I hope you have a most wonderful weekend and I will see you all later.